what's up welcome everybody uh, tonight we're gonna be playing some Alice Cooper's Nightmare Castle a good uh, buddy of mine who's in the Cincy pinball group graciously loaned me this game for a little while so I could learn it finally um, very difficult game but um, with a lot of practice you can uh, get better at it another one of my buddies Stulis, had a very good comment about this game it's easy to live, but hard to prosper. So you'll see during this game, I'm gonna miss a lot, but you don't typically get punished too much for missed shots. Um, so the game gives you plenty of chances to make up for your misses. So we'll get uh, uh, we'll get into this and check this out here. Um, so to start off, I was just gonna do kind of like a um, quick tutorial. Uh, where I'll start um, and explain the skill shots and then we'll plunge and start playing and then I'll kind of talk through the game as I go. Um, there's really not, like once you concentrate on what's going on in the game, there's really not a whole lot there. Now there's going to be some features of the game that I don't know particularly well, so this is going to be more of a tutorial to kind of get the basics in your head, know how to get through the game. It, it, especially if you're going for billion dollar babies which is what I've been doing for the past week or so so um, we'll go ahead and get started so okay you can see obviously on the play field we got a bunch of green shots flashing so essentially these are all your skill shots um, unfortunately right now the screen is not giving us much information on them but the moment you plunge it comes up on the screen what each shot is worth so on the screen it'll say what the left orbit gives you or the uh, left ramp or the right ramp gives you or the the Denise lock shot which is right here to the left of the uh, right ramp or the right orbit I kinda wish they had that on the screen now so as a player you can look okay I like those awards I'm gonna go for that shot but if you hit any of them good stuff's gonna happen you're gonna get your outlane saves lit I believe if you hit any of them some of them will immediately have a monster ready to start uh, by lighting the secret passageway. So if the secret passageway is lit right here to the right of the right ramp, um, if you hit that, you'll start the next monster right away. Um, so we'll go ahead and get plunged here, and then we'll talk about uh, the monsters and how to start modes. So we got the skill shot at the Cold Ethel. So that gave us secret passage and the outlanes. Okay. So secret passage is right here. It's pulsing to the right of the left ramp. If I shoot that shot, I'm going to start Alice Cooper mode, which is flashing right here in the middle of the play field. Um, let me know how the game sounds compared to me. Um, just want to make sure the levels are all right. I can certainly adjust. wonder if I just do... Is the game too soft now? That was kind of a little loud for me on my end, but sounds great. Okay, well, I just turned it down a tick. Uh, let me know if the game sounds too soft now, but anyway, I can turn it up later after we get done with the tutorial. But anyway, so we can hit that secret passage shot and we'll start the next monster. Or we can hit the orbits. The orbits are flashing as well, as you can see. Those are going to move you through the house to get to the monster. Um, it starts off being pretty easy to get to a monster. You have to hit two orbits to get to the monster or hit the secret passage once if it's lit. Um, then as you get through more monsters, you have to travel more rooms via the orbits to get to that monster. So to start off, if we only had to hit two, maybe later in the game we got to hit three or four orbits to get to the monster. But I'll show you a different path to the monster that I like to go for, uh, which is a little bit easier for me. So, until we travel anywhere in the house, we're able to change the monster mode, which is this big circular insert here in the center of the game. We're able to shoot the targets that are right behind that, and we can change to a different mode if we want to. So if we don't like Alice Cooper, we can... So now we got Werewolf lit. If we don't like Werewolf, we can go ahead and hit him again. I hate Zombie, so we're going to change that. Just because the mode is really hard for me. Zombie is a very hard mode for me. I like to save that for later, and I'll explain why in a minute. Insects is one of my favorite modes, so I'm going to leave it on that one. Um, so to start a mode, again, we can either go for orbits, but I like to do that secret passage shot. So Insects is a sweet mode where you got to hit a bunch of green shots. So you can see I got various green shots lit around the playfield. 
You can see on the LCD does a great job of telling you what you need to do. Um, so each green shot you hit, it's going to take away one of the insects you got to kill and score a value. Again, Singer Passage is usually like one of the easier shots, so I like going for that. And I got I just noticed before we started streaming that this left flipper needs to be adjusted a little bit, maybe a new coil sleeve. It's not falling all the way down all the time, so your dead bounces aren't as consistent. But anyway, so if you drain like I did during a mode, you've failed that mode, but it's okay. You don't have to complete the monster modes to make it to Billion Dollar Babies. You just got to play them all. Still very difficult, but you always want to play through the modes because, one, you can't really time them out, and, two, they can be very, very valuable. So I highly recommend every time you're in a mode, play through it, do as best as you can because it's, it's really a lot more fun, and they're very well coded. So they're um, I, I really suggest playing them. So again, gutter skill shots. I just swing away and hope I hit one. Once you hit a switch that isn't a skill shot, uh, the skill shots turn off. I just got the uh, the what I uh, what I like to call is a inconsequential multi ball that doesn't lock you out of anything. It's the crypt multi ball, so it's kind of got a mini Denisi lock over here with one drop target. Lock a ball behind there, hit the drop target, release the ball. Everything else in the game stays active, so you can still work towards monsters. You can do pretty much everything else in the game that's available to you. So I like to use that to um, just kind of safely play without risk of losing my ball and draining. I haven't found that multi-ball to be very worthwhile, so <clears throat> I would just recommend using that to advance in the game. I wouldn't use that as a main scoring strategy if you're in a tournament or anything. Just know that it's there to help extend your ball time, basically. Um, so again, we got to work towards another monster. We don't have Secret Passage lit. We can change our monster if we want to. I think Igor is a pretty good, pretty good mode. But what I like to do in this situation is either work towards Frank Multi Ball, which I got to hit that left ramp to do, or I like to work on my guillotine shots. You can see on the LCD that it says 10 chops for extra ball. Each time you hit this little ramp, you can see it says 9 chops now. You'll get 1 chop. Get 10 chops, you light extra ball. Extra balls are huge on this game, especially if you're trying to get to the end. I believe there's only 2 extra balls available. The 10 chops, and once you've played, started 3 modes, the extra ball is a target on the upper play field. Uh, it's a yellow target up there uh, next to the drop target. Hit that, you get your extra ball. I believe there's only two. Um, so you really need to strategize if you're trying to get to the end so you can capitalize on getting those two extra balls. So we got one chop. Now I'm trapped on the right. Usually in this situation, I'm going to go right for Frank Locks. So i got to remember... Dead bouncing on the left is not going to be consistent, so we're going to try to not dead bounce on the left too much. Oh, that one worked, though. <laughs> that was risky. The shot I just hit is, is one of the many entryways to the subway underneath the game, so it's called Light Mystery. When that's lit up, if you hit it in the hole, um, I believe it either takes one try or a few tries. But anyway, it'll eventually light up the mystery, which is the scoop over here. Um, I believe I've learned that that's a deterministic order. Um, so if I hit the mystery right now, I'm going to get advanced two rooms. I don't think I've ever gotten more than one mystery in a game, so I usually... I, I, I don't know what comes after that. So I'm not really quite sure on the behavior of the mystery modes and what you get, but the first one is definitely advanced two rooms, which would essentially just start a monster for you, unless you're really late in the game, and it takes a lot more rooms to get to the monster. So... I'm going to go for Frank again. So we got one Frank lock. You only need to lock two balls to start um, Frankenstein multi-ball. To get the second lock, you can see now the drop target on the upper play field is flashing. While you're on the upper play field, you have to hit the drop target down and then shoot the ramp behind it to start Frank multi-ball. What makes this difficult is if I go up to the upper play field and hit the drop target down, and then I do not hit the ramp and drain out of the upper play field, the drop target comes back up. So it doesn't, you gotta do it all over again when you go back up. Ugh! Skill 
those shots up again. Again, I just swing away. Hope I hit one. Boom, we got one. So again, that one gives us our secret passage. Um, so we can immediately start a mode if we want. I'm going to keep working towards um, my chops and Frank multi-ball. Uh, what I just ran through up top were the two X lanes. Those are your bonus X. I mistakenly thought those were some sort of shot multiplier or play field multiplier, which would have been awesome, but <laughs> they are indeed just your bonus X. I wouldn't actively go for them. Bonus can be fairly lucrative, but by the time, at least my experience, uh, when the bonus does get fairly lucrative, you're going to have hundreds of millions of points anyway, so another 20, 30 million in bonus isn't going to be that great because your score is going to be awesome already. But um, so right here, here's a situation I've always come across so far. Um, I like going for chops because it gets you towards your, uh, your extra ball, like I said. Um, if I have it trapped up nice and neat here, I always go for a chop. If, if the ball's flying around up there before I get to a trap and the drop target ha happens to get hit, then I get it to a trap, I'll go for Frank. I don't want to risk a dangerous shot by hitting the drop target and then losing the ball. I'm going to take my chop and then try again. And sometimes uh, when you hit the, I guess I waited too long <laughs> with the ball uh, trapped up. So I'll have to wait for ball search here, I think, for the ball to fall through. But every so many chops, the ball actually chops through the play field and comes down to your, your mystery scoop here. Oh, this is a good mode. So we're going to bypass our current strat just to start this mode. Or if I can get it to a nice trap. Oh, we started Frank. So Frank is one of the monsters. So we've actually started another monster mode right now. Pretty easy uh, rules to understand, but very hard to master. The ramps are lit for jackpots. I believe you have to hit each ramp uh, a couple times each. Um, during Frank multi-ball, you can do your Crypt multi-ball, which I just started as well. Um, one interesting fact about the jackpot ramps is I believe they have uh, 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 opto switches halfway up the ramps, and that's what registers hits on the ramp. So to get credit for these jackpots, you don't really have to hit the ball all the way up the ramp, which is kind of nice. So you're kind of getting these jackpots from half ramps. Because the ramps are very hard to hit. At least for me there. Uh, okay, so that's how quick Frank can go. Wow, you're a regular Ghostbuster. Um, but had we hit enough ramps, uh, the guillotine shot, uh, the one that I've been hitting to try and get towards extra ball, that's the super jackpot. So I believe once you hit two or three of each ramp, that guillotine shot lights up and then you can get your super jackpot and then I'm pretty sure it's just rinse and repeat doing that over and over. So we still have our secret passage um, available. So I'm going to go ahead and start Vampire because this mode's fun. So this one is all about uh, the target in the upper play field. It's kind of hard to see on my camera. But um, there is... So we just got the extra ball target, because we started three modes. So as far as extra balls go, this is we're making good progress. Um, so again, I just I, I try to get up to the upper play field because there's a target up there we have to hit. It's kind of hidden by my camera, but if I can get a trap on that mini flipper, I'll show you where it's at. But essentially, there's, just, there's only one other spot target on the upper play field, and it's directly... Ah! I'm really bad at... If you complete the save, like, like spell save with the bottom lanes, if you, if you light up all the save letters, the out lanes light for a ball save uh, for 45 seconds. And that's a magnet save, so when it drains out the out lane, it's going to be put on the magnet and then flung back into the play field. Uh, but what I was trying to show you in that vampire mode, all there is to that mode is there's a, a yellow spot target directly up the center of the upper play field, right to the right of the Frank ramp. Hit that three times in vampire, and it's done, and it goes to victory laps. All these monster modes, except for Frank, I believe, 
if you do well enough in them, it goes to a victory lap portion, which is timed. And then that's just kind of like get as many points as you can. And then when that session is over, there's always a hurry up at the end of the mode that lights for any value as low as 5 million. And I've seen it as high as 30, 40 million. So that's all dependent upon how well you do in the mode. And that's this green target over here to the left of the left orbit. Um, so that's another reason why you should really play those modes and get good at them. One, because it's fun, and two, if you're hitting your shots, you're, it's really going to pay off. So we're super far away from our other extra ball. Uh, we've only got a few monsters under our belts. We didn't play them very well. Um, so yeah, let's hope for a skill shot and then start our next monster. But essentially... I've kind of gone over the game. Now, we haven't gone over all the, the rules of the modes. Um, so we're starting Alice Cooper here. This is a guillotine shot. Uh, we have to hit the guillotine shot three times. You can see it flashing green on the upper play field. So this mode wants you to hit this three times. And this is worth good value because this isn't an easy set of shots to set up. You always want to be going for your extra balls on this, spelling your save lanes. That's going to really increase your ball times and give you a better shot at getting the billion dollar babies, which is the final wizard bit. Never done that before, and I thought for sure that was going to drain down the middle. <laughs> Usually when I hit that Frank ramp, Frank multi ball is lit. Alright, so one more guillotine shot, and we can. Uh, get to the next phase of this mode. From what I understand, every mode's first phase like this doesn't have a timer. So you don't need to rush. It, it may have some sort of like hurry up value associated to it where the, 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 the shots you're trying to hit might decrease in value the longer you're taking, but for the most part, you just want to take your time, don't drain, and you can make your shots. So now we're in that frenzy mode. See how there's a bunch of extra shots lit? We got a good, good value for getting that third guillotine. Now, now we're just in victory laps here. See, it's still, I mean, that's almost two million. That's good value if you can keep hitting these shots down here. And you'll see the guillotine still lit up top. Not sure exactly what that would be worth, but I'm sure the value isn't terrible either. Okay, so we got a decent hurry up at 10 million at that spot target like I was talking about, but it goes down very quickly. So don't freak out if you don't get to it, but if, if you have a nice setup on your flipper, definitely take your time and try and make that shot to get that hurry up value. Okay, we're not necessarily in jail right now, but I would say we're pretty far away from getting to the next monster. Again, we're in the phase where we can change the monster if we want to. I like were werewolf, so I'm going to stay put. Um, but... I want to hit an orbit so I can travel one room, and, th and the reason for that is, hopefully I'll be able to show you in a second here. So remember, the orbits will travel a room, so there we go, we traveled one room. Now you'll notice that the insert to change a monster has turned off. And now those center targets are flashing. And see how it says two more for secret passage? That's why we want to travel one room. So here's our magnet save. Once you travel one room, those targets light, and you can hit the targets three times, and it'll light your secret passage. So you see my secret passage is lit? Then we can warp right to the next monster by using that. Um, you rock. That's what I would recommend if you're trying to get to Billion Dollar Babies. That's been my go-to strategy. The center targets aren't terribly dangerous. You can usually survive three hits to it and then get to your secret passage. I have much more trouble hitting those orbits uh, uh, later in the game when you have to hit them a lot more to get to the next monster. Um, there's also a concept of weapons that they've added to help you in the monster modes. Essentially, if you collect a weapon for a particular monster before you play it, um, it only requires, like, say, one guillotine shot for Alice Cooper. Or when we were playing, oh, what else did we play? Vampire. It only, I think, needs one shot to that target on the upper play field instead of three to get to the next mode. So, um, 
you have to know what rooms the weapons are in and and what modes those weapons apply to. I haven't worked all that out yet, but that's when you're going to want to dial in those orbits more because those are going to advance you one room to the left or the right. So you'll see when I start a game, we have a map right here on the LCD screen. And if I hit the right orbit, my red X is going to go to the next room to the right. And then if I hit a left orbit, it's going to go to the next possible one to the left. But you really can only travel to the specific rooms later in the game because when you start in the game, they make it easier for you to start monsters. So the first time you hit an orbit, you're going to be one spot away from the monster. So there's not that you can't just go room to room when you start. I think once you're on monster four or five, you got to travel to all those rooms. So that's when you can kind of find those weapons. And when a weapon is available, so if you hit an orbit and you travel to a certain room, the ramps will start flashing green. That's how you'll know a weapon's available. And to collect a weapon, it's that same yellow spot target right in the middle of the upper play field. So if you hit that, you'll collect the weapon. It'll apply to that monster you have currently lit to play. And then when you get into that monster mode, it's only going to need one or two shots to get to the victory lap phase and the hurry up stuff. So much more valuable later in the game for me. Because if I'm getting close to billion dollar babies, I want to get there as quickly as possible. So, um, zombie is a very hard mode for me. Uh, when we get to that, I'll explain it to you. But it's essentially a roving shot around the play field, and you got to hit five of them. Very hard to do. But if you have the weapon for it, it only you only have to hit one of them. So if I have zombie lit. I want to try and get to the room that has the zombie weapon in it. I'm not sure which room it is, so I just kind of hit orbits and hope the ramps light up and then go get it. But I think on Spooky's page or somewhere on Pinside, there's a rule sheet, or maybe on Tilt Forums, that explains what rooms have what weapons which help you for uh, certain modes. Um, so, anywho, that's just a little extra wrinkle to it. Uh, we talked about mystery awards. Um, I'm not sure what all there are. I typically only get one mystery in a game. It's always advanced two rooms. Sometimes I've noticed the guillotine's lit during single ball play, and it's just a, if you hit the guillotine, it's like a million to two million value, and it shows a cool animation of a guy getting his body ripped apart or getting stretched out or something like that. Um, outside of that, when you complete your bonus X lanes up top, it won't advance your bonus X right away. There's a green target on the right side of the play field that you have to hit to get that. Again, I don't specifically go for it. It's not worth a lot. Just kind of let it happen as you play. Um, if you do want to play out the crypt multiball, the little two ball multiball I talked about that I just used to help me advance in the game, the jackpots for that I believe are the scoop, the scoop up the middle where you light uh, mystery, and then the, the Denisi lock shot. All three of those are scoops essentially that lead to the subway. I think when you hit all three of those, maybe the Denisi lock lights again for super jackpot. I'm not sure, but again, not tons of value there, but just be aware that that's going on. They'll always pulse different colors when you're in that multi-ball. So, but just keep in mind what, uh, keep your eye on the prize for billion dollar babies and just use that multi-ball to help you advance in the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, after you kind of take the time and, 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 understand all the ways to kind of just start monsters get extra balls things like that it's really not too complex then it's just about becoming an expert on how the modes work and, and we've already covered let's see we covered alice we covered insects but we didn't get too far in it vampire we didn't get too far in that we didn't start werewolf so we will keep going thanks again everybody for tuning in we are learning Alice Cooper and trying to get to Billion Dollar Babies. I was one mode away last night. Got 424 million, but did not get to Billion Dollar Babies. So, hopefully I have better luck tonight. So, we're, we're on Insects right now. I'm going to leave it on Insects, because one, like I said, I like this mode. And we didn't do well in it last game. <clears throat> so we traveled one room. We'll leave you in stitches. The insect creature will So again, I want to hit those. I can, I can hit one right orbit, and I'll start the mode. Because you can see my X is right by the monster, the M at the top of the map, on my LCD screen. Um, or I can hit three center targets, and my secret passage will light. Since I only need one right orbit, I'm going to go for that. There we go. So we got insects again. Remember, these are all the green shots. we got to hit ten green shots. Uh, the green shots change each time you hit one. 
reject there. So that's usually an easy shot. That, um... A nice thing about all the monster modes, never walk away from this game. You'll get an initial ball save every time you start a monster mode. So get used to that. That's, that's an uncommon thing for a pinball machine, but when you start a mode, a ball save starts. When it's... Damn! Um... But yeah, each time you start a monster mode, it has a ball save. So, and and this game tends to be kind of generous with, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but sometimes the ball save seems to be on longer than it should be, or the grace period's on longer than it should be. So, until you see that bonus go on Alice Cooper, don't walk away. Hey, what's up, Mark? <laughs> you didn't see my little friend right here? <laughs> Actually, if you, uh, his eyes are a good representation of the, the target on the upper play field. There's a light right above it that have his eyes on it. So, Come on, I love insects mode, but we sucked at it two times we played it. And you can see, like, when the green, uh, the game flashes red like that, it's just saying, hey, you fucked up the skill shot. Have fun. Um, so we got Pit Creature lit, we haven't played that yet, so we're going to work on the center targets to get our secret passage lit. Again, if our outlines are lit purple, that means we're going to get the magnet save. Sometimes the magnet save will just kind of go gimpy and just drain the ball. Have no fear, there's compensation, the, a ball save will kick in. Same if the ball drains out of the out of the mystery scoop. Um, so if your ball kicks out of the mystery scoop and somehow drains, there's a short ball save, so that won't scree e either. I've had really fast shots to the left ramp that come flying down this wire form and the ball jumps off and drains, and I've gotten a ball save from that. So they seem to do a good job that if the, the, the game screws you on a crazy drain like that, you'll get the ball back. Cheers to generous ball saves. Absolutely. And on this game especially, because you need them, it's, man, this game elicits some pretty strong frustrations out of me. <laughs> um, but that's what keeps me coming back. It's, you have those games where you're just, you're finally hitting all these tight shots and it's super, super fun. But then you'll go through games where you're just not hitting anything and, you know, if I have those games on other games, like Stranger Things, it puts you out of your misery. You know, one missed shot on there, and you're usually dead. But here, it's just like, miss, 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 and you keep getting the ball back. But, you know, um, it's just kind of how it is. But, yeah, if you're hitting those shots, it's great. Oh, he's on He's on my right, so he's right here. So Alice Cooper face is right here. <laughs> All right. And um, there's no time to the skill shots, so if you're better at just doing a live catch out of the, the plunge or getting control of the ball, just make sure you don't hit the slings or anything like that. And you can take your time and line up a skill shot if you want. I'm just a little impatient, so. So we got our guillotine lid here. This is just that little piddly point of getting like a million points, I think, for... Oh, God. So if the drop target's not lit, it just comes right back up. Again, you light that by getting your first lock for Frank. So see, it's stretch points. I believe that's all that'll do if that's lit up there. I'm not sure how it lights. But again, nothing too crazy to worry about. The main thing is, is it gave us a chop, and now we have nine chops for extra ball. Get in there. Pick creature. Alright, it's playing our little secret passage jingle. Once that jingle starts, you know that you're in the secret passage as well. Or that it's lit. So that's our pulsing shot there to the right of the right ramp. Remember, if you ever see that shot lit, that means you can hit that and start your next monster. Don't think that you have to hit orbits to start your monster. If that secret passage is lit, hit that instead. Much safer. 
What did we get here? Pit creature? So this is a mode that took me, uh, uh, with a little help of my friends, from what the flip to understand. There's no real... All these green shots are lit, obviously. And there's a countdown on the LCD. Um, so when I first played this, I thought the the shots weren't registering anything. Because it wasn't really giving me any feedback when I'd shoot them. But that countdown is reducing. It started at like 15, now we're at 9. Each time you hit a shot, while the ball's kind of traveling through the play field or out of sight, that countdown lowers itself. And the countdown just lowers, lower, lowers. And, and then you can see below that the value is growing and growing and growing. Ooh, that was a good shot. It, it was gone for a while. So it's kind of cool. The whole time the ball's gone, it just kind of counts down. And then once we count it down to zero... We are a little early on hitting those targets. Ooh, that should be it. Oh! Half a second. I'm playing squirrely here because I know I'm close. <laughs> All right, so remember, let's always get our chops. Always get our chops. Nice, okay, that'll put it down to zero. Shoot center targets for lots of points. Boom. And since we got to the next phase, I believe it's another um, ball save. And with this one, it might have quite a long ball save so that we can just keep hitting these shots over and over. And I just got a Denisi lock, so it'd be a good idea to start this little two ball multi ball and start crushing these shots. There goes the graveyard. Again, I'll say nothing to worry about. Oh boy. Oh yeah, give me that. Yeah. Oh, we want that. Oh, we want that target. Oh, our hurry up wasn't that good. So. So 52 million for a mode. So you can see, like, that's, that's some good shit right there. So that's why we play the modes. I think uh, Lindsay and Kevin from What the Flip said that they got over 100 million on that mode once. That is crazy. Best I've done is like 40 to 60 million on a mode. In one singular mode. And since we got all the way through the mood, you, you know, we kill, like we got that countdown all the way down, we beat that first phase, that's what lights the monster up green instead of red. I don't think there's any significance to that whatsoever outside of just tracking which monsters you killed and which monsters you failed at killing, which is, essentially means you drained during it. Um, but there, you don't have to kill each monster to get to Billion Dollar Babies. You just got to play them all. This is I got two going here. I'm gonna try for these dangerous orbits. Igor, do I want to play Igor? Yeah, that's fine. We haven't played that yet. Again, always, always be saving. Always be getting your saves. Now we switch the motor. Yeah, we already did Alice Cooper. Okay, we haven't done Werewolf yet, so we'll keep that one on. Oh god. We gotta lock it in by getting the orbits! Oh god. There we go. Alright, so we locked it in from hitting an orbit. We traveled a room. Now I can go back to my center targets to open up my secret passage. Oh. That's why we spell save. Always be spelling save. That's a little dinky one. Uno mas. Alright, so we got our secret passage lit. Werewolf? Okay, werewolf. Green shots are lit, okay? It's gonna be a back and forth mode. Green shot. Green shot, then center targets. The ones on the lower play field. Our extra ball's lit. Let's try and get that while we're up here. There we go. So, yeah, 
see him up the middle there. There's the change mode targets. Oh. And you can see there's a health bar in the LCD for the werewolf. Once his health bar is down, we're done with this one. And we go to the victory laps. So you can see the shot that I hit is now red. Um, I I I it takes away your health on your side of the screen when you hit that shot and gives you a piddly amount of points. Um, I've never had it to where my health has gotten all the way down. Maybe you fail the mode if that happens, but I have never seen it. Um, maybe chat can help with what happens if your health goes all the way down in this mode. You can see, as I'm making the shots, they turn red. And you don't want to hit those. The cheesy call-outs in this are great. And they're all Alice Cooper, which makes it even better. <laughs> so, not sure why we didn't get... I hate to see the secret passage shot there, Mark so that Cooper. might be a little bit of a bit of a bug. I've seen that before, um, where during Wolf I hit the secret passage shot, but it gives me a credit for a right orbit in. instead of the secret passage shot, because it comes around and only registers that. So, some quirky things about the game, but for the most part, you know, from playing the hell out of this for a week, I think it plays pretty great. Just notice a couple quirks here and there, but um, plays plays really good. So we learned werewolf. So we didn't hit a switch yet. Oh, we just hit an end lane, so our skill shots are turned off. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, we haven't played zombie. I'm gonna try and start Frank. I'm avoiding zombie like the plague. I'm terrible at zombie. <laughs> Bouncy rubbers up in the upper play field. If you think the ball's dead, just give the game a nudge, and you can usually get it to bounce around a little bit more and have another shot at it. Just like everything else in this game, even those shots to the upper play field, tough to land. Okay, so we travel to room, so we locked in zombie. But you can see our our ramps are green. Our ramps are green. That's big. No, don't travel to rooms. No. So what happened just then was we got the mystery award to travel to rooms, which we started a monster mode, which is great. But we didn't want to do that because I had the ramps lit to get a weapon, and I need it for this mode. This is the mode where the shots go here, here, secret passage mystery uh, uh, right ramp right orbit and then they just start coming back again you got to hit five of them so we got one there so I think right ramp next So you can see how good I am at this mode. All right, I'm gonna wait for this to get to mystery. I'm it's really early on this flipper, but it's usually pretty safe. But of course, I miss it there. So we're two for two on the secret passage, at least. See, it's just hard to get the ball to the flipper you want to, because post passes are very hard on this, at least for me. Secret passage again! Three! <laughs> Alright, two more. Ah, I tried to do... <laughs> I tried to do shots and it did not work. <laughs> Yeah, the, I, I hate zombie mode just because of how difficult it is for me. Um, 
But waiting for the orbits, that's dicey. I can't hit the orbits where shit. I never... <laughs> I try to avoid shooting the orbits like no other. Uh, but yeah, but the song's awesome. I like the song. Sorry, but it's a brutal planet. I'm looking for a few good corpses. Welcome to Ghouls Gone Wild. Oh, that was our first non fool orbit. You're a weapon of mass distraction. Mr. BJ, but, uh, yeah, I think, um, I think the plunge is much, much more consistent now. We haven't had any rattlers yet. Screw you, zombie. The dead are walking. Ooh, insects. Definitely want to play this. I love the lighting on this. I love the rules. I love the sound effects. This mode's great. We could just play well in it. Little things. It's just a little thing. Get in there. Combo. Ah. Save drain. Save drain. No, I don't love Alice Cooper music at all. And honestly, when I first played through this game and heard most of these songs, like the one for Vampire, whatever the, that song's called. I couldn't believe that was an Alice Cooper song. It's, it sounded like a joke. <laughs> and maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know much about the guy. But, I mean, Frankenstein, uh, what is it? Be My or Feed My Frankenstein or whatever. Um, that's a real popular song, so I obviously knew that one. The one that's in the zombie mode, I knew that one already. And the werewolf mode. But, uh, yeah, like, Cold Ethel, that's such a weird song. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know much about the guy, but... I expected the songs to be a little harder than this. All right. Oh, we had our first wobbly one. Sorry, BJ, I thought I had that fixed. My adjustment must not have kept. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I um, for for not being a fan of his at all, like it's kind of like ACDC. I, I wasn't a fan of ACDC at all, but just like the game kind of made me a fan. Uh, yeah, but it definitely fits the game, and it was awesome that they got him to do custom callouts. So that's always fun. Missing, 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 missing. So here's the game in a nutshell right here. <laughs> Live long, but do not prosper. got a good score on this one. Our secret passage lit. I'm going to go for Frank. Let's play some Frank. Remember the Frank multi-ball is lock one up the left ramp, lock two on the upper play field behind the drop target. There we go. 
and I drain right out of it. So that, that's that's about right. Yeah, so that's, that, that can make this really game really frustrating. You, you do all this work to get to the upper play field, and then you just immediately drain out of it. Bam! Oh! Generous ball saves. Never walk away, people. Never walk away. Can't follow my own advice. Alright, I hid in orbit during the two balls, so we started Pit Creature. I forgot to tell you the first part about this mode is you have to find the Pit Creature, and he's in one of these green shots. I must have done it real early the last time we played, so I didn't... forgot to mention that. So see, there's only three shots lit right now. we got to find him in one of the holes. So he's not there, so he's going to be in one of the other two. All right, boom. Now we got our other shots lit up. Now we got to do our countdown. Every shot we hit while the ball's gone, it's going to count down. Yeah. Getting it up and back up that secret passageway seems to cut the most time off it. One of the biggest problems I saw with this game in tournaments or on location was the tilt bob would never settle. Um, and you would just get a lot of phantom tilts, a lot of phantom warnings. I've tilted before walking up to this game in a tournament. Um, so I highly recommend if you're familiar with the earplug mod where you basically stuff an, a standard squishy earplug into the eyelet of where the tilt bob hangs. Um, it stops the tilt bob from moving almost instantly. So you won't have to worry about those phantom tilts and nice. warnings. Oh my gosh, how many times are we going to hit this? Oh. I thought that was going to hit the orbit. Oh yeah, center targets. Come on, baby, let's get that. So I think the the sound effects and things for this mode are lackluster. You don't really get that. Set, like you're getting some big scores in this. You don't really get outside of the screech of the creature. Uh, you don't really get the satisfaction that I think you should be getting from a high scoring mode like this. I think it'd be cool to have a little more fanfare in this bad boy. Ah. Get in there. Mm. Yeah, see it. I'm not sure what makes that hurry up more valuable. Like I said, I've seen it be 30 million, I've seen it be 5 million. But again, just do your best in the modes and you'll, uh, Cold Ethel we haven't played yet. Do your best in the modes and good things will happen. The ball didn't trap up there like it normally does. So Cold Ethel, you can see it's kind of hard to see maybe. Um, the ramps are lit blue, so it'll take you to the upper play field. And then you can see Cold Ethel flashing underneath my upper flipper on the upper play field. You want to let the ball drain underneath there, and it puts the ball behind that Denise lock, and that's the first phase. Come on, baby. Ooh, did it give it back to me? It didn't give it back to me. Like I said, I've gotten a ball save from that before. Oh, Not sure why I got that ball back. Still got it back. <laughs> Again, never walk away. <laughs> Haven't played Igor yet. So. We haven't started Frank yet either, so... Cold Ethel is a catchy tune. It's weird for sure, but it's catchy. So we got that extra ball lit, so we need to get that.
keep this game alive. You get the skill shot. Heck yeah, I did. And we got the extra ball. And let's get the Frank. Oh, that'd have been sweet. Skill shot, extra ball, Frank multi ball. That'd have been a good plunge. I'll save still on. It can be frustrating when your trips to the upper play field do not last very long. It's hard enough to get up there. Gotta go for chops. Eh, screw it. <laughs> you can just keep passing it. Uh. Hmm. We got our extra ball, though. You live again. You live again. You will love this place. Today. Frank. This is the best mode start for sure. My stream really doesn't do it justice because you can't see the full effect of the blue lights. Oh! <laughs> that ball wasn't even going fast down it and it squirted out of there. I want, you could probably just put a, I'm probably just going to put a piece of a Lexan over the top of that, the end of that wire form, then the ball will just stay in there. That's where it's coming off at. It's kind of like circling the drain above that in lane and then plopping off. Flopper. What do we got here? What are we playing? What are we playing? Igor? So Igor, there's three green shots flashing up the middle. He's hiding in one of them. There's no way to know which one it is. Just get lucky. So we didn't find him yet. He's not in there, so he's got to be in the middle one. Game likes to hide characters from you. Characters and items. You, you def I've never been able to backhand that center shot from the left. Maybe others can, but I've never done it. Hang on, ball. Don't let them out again. <laughs> so he would have been, had we gotten that center scoop shot, uh, some more green shots would have opened up, and that would have been starting the second phase. In the second phase, what's kind of cool about it is, is there's shots that are lit green on the left, there's shots that are lit green on the right. Um, the skull face in the middle of the yep. play field will have You're one of his down. eyes lit up. Thanks again to Lindsay and Kevin for helping me with the rules on that one. Uh, one of the skull's eyes will be lit up and it's telling you which side Igor's on. Now granted, there's two to three shots that's going to be lit on both sides of the play field, so you still have to just guess which ones he's at, but at least the eyes will tell you which side of the play field he's on. Stay a while. Stay so again, the brilliance of this game is in all the monster modes. They all got cool tunes to them, great rules. They're all, n n none of them feel the same. Um, I've gotten big scores in all of them, so it's it's great. Really well balanced and fun. Again, zombies frustrating, but again, it is what it is. Oh, get up there. Oh, it wouldn't even let me have a s sling switch. Nice. That's a good skill shot, because you get a lock, you get a skill shot. Gives you your secret passage. So what do we got lit? What, uh, what's our monster here? Pit creature. 
<laughs> That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Might try and mess with some more. Uh, in the settings for the magnet, there's different patterns it can do. And, um. Ooh! This is lit for a weapon. Ugh. So we gotta get to the upper play field and hit the upper play field target. Not the extra ball one, but the one straight away in the back. Target. Yeah. So we got. What is that? Are those pills? <laughs> That's cold apples. Drug or weapon of choice. Killer of pills. Okay. So Ethel, I believe the mode will be completed if I just hit that one shot. It might be the Denise Lack shot. Yep. So yeah. So we already completed cold Ethel. Now we're on the. So that's what's good about that weapon. We only had to make one shot. To... Getting a million a pop here, some good money. Ooh, even backhand the right orbit. Ethel's being, ooh, Ethel's being real nice to us. Holy Moses. What are we supposed to hit now? What are we supposed to? <laughs> oh, look at that 21 million hurry up. Can we do it? <laughs> oh, we wasted it. 21 million down the drain. Oh, well. Let's try to get back into Igor, see if we can't get further than that. Oh, baby. Why do you always gotta be in the last place I look, Igor? Okay. Hit the shot, dum dum. Too late. Man, that thing bounces around so much. Two. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, lots of shots lit. See his eyes on the right. I believe that center scoop we just hit counts as a shot on the right. Ooh, we found him. So now he's off to the left. Can see the eyeballs on the left? Lots of shots lit on the left, though, so we're going to have to get lucky. Nope, that wasn't it. We can get a chop while we're up here. Nope, Igor wasn't there. He's, probably, he's in the scoop or on that target. Oh, did we not even get a danger for that? Lucky. <laughs> Thanks for being nice, game. Ooh! <laughs> get in there. Got him. Okay, now we're in the victory laps. I think if you get past this part, the eyes start lighting up again and telling you. Yeah, I think you can keep this going for a while. Wow, yeah, there's 20 seconds left on this. I was crushing this mid the other night. I got like 50 million or something on this. Ooh, got him. Okay, now the eyes are lit up again. Ooh, got him again! Shit! Ooh, did I get him again? Ooh, find him. Nice! Hurry up, total 13. That was a good mood. Let's 
get Frank. Mm! Oh, I forgot we were up top. She got that extra ball while we were up there. ball so one extra ball left but we got to get a lot of chops how many chops we need we need eight chops so we're gonna keep working towards monsters and if we can get to the upper play field make sure we're concentrating on getting chops you live again Okay, skill shot. Let the experiments begin. Ball one locked. Okay, second go around for Frank Multiball. You have to hit the upper playfield drop target twice. However, I believe if you hit it down once, it will save that progress. You don't have to hit it down twice while you're up there. But once you're down to one hit to it, it's just like it was the first time you played. Oh no. This song's fun. Get up there! Dang! Trying people, trying people. Disco Okay, let's get a trap here. There we go. Oh! Save my ball with the out lanes. Oh well. So I think if you're struggling to hit that upper target, the lower one's light. So I just had, I'm not sure how long it takes, but those lower ones, uh, those lower targets lit up, and I think it gave me, yeah, it gave me credit for staking vampire. So now I only have to hit that upper target twice. Probably worth less by doing it this way, but. All saved for some reason. Not sure why. There we go. There we go. That's two. I need one more. One more. There we go. All shots are lit, and I can just keep hitting this target too during this. When you get to that extra phase, it seems like if you just keep hitting the mode shots or hitting everything that's lit, you make good money.
try to backhand that target. I knew it was gonna light. Oh! Can't hit it! Oh! Boo! Oh, weapon. What do I have it for here? Alice Cooper? That's cool. That's a pretty difficult mode. To... Okay. Physical knocker in the head of this game. Sounds amazing. Well done, Spooky. You are playing with fire. All right. So weapon for guillotine. I think I just hit the guillotine once and I'm done. Dang it. Oh, come on. So yeah, immediately goes to the second phase. Big deal, this happens all the time. Oh. Oh, this is going to Glass are falling out. We got the top, we got the bottom row to go. Hmm, let's try and get some chops. Oh god. Welcome to the library. Sometimes after traveling to a room, there'll be a Alice Cooper insect flying around and you kill him by hitting the center targets, so he'll be flashing green. Just one of those random, just million point award. I don't think it does any benefit for you outside of just giving you a million points. Alright, so we should be in Werewolf now. Yeah, so remember, alternate back and forth between green shots to green shots. So, s center targets to other shots. Center targets to air. Other shots. Remember, ones you've already hit turn red, don't hit those. Not the end of the world if you hit one of those, but why did I do that? <laughs> Get back, friend. Oh yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, we have one more. I don't think I've ever completed Werewolf. Hopefully that wasn't ball three. Sweet. Shit, that was only ball one. Hell's yeah. All right, how many chops we need? Traveled, traveled, okay. Zombie hunts on. I have no idea where his weapon's at, but I want it. I want it. Who oh, no. knew? Second mystery reward in one game. What's it gonna give us? Two rooms again? Ooh, the weapon flit! Don't screw this up. Always be saving. Always be saving. Oh, come on. I thought that was good. Ugh. 
Ah, there's Robert. <laughs> and here we are. Easy to live, hard to prosper. Get up there. Now I don't want to accidentally hit the secret passage. So I want to get that weapon first. There we go. Stay up there. God damn it. I need that weapon. I can't beat zombie without it. Oh my god, it was a rattler. It was a rattler. Stay up there. Oh, yes! Okay. Now we want to hit Secret Passage. Maybe we start with Frank. Eh. Ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that Crypt Lock. Sweet! Alright, so we just gotta hit one zombie shot. Still, easier said than done. Okay, let's wait for that ramp. Damn! Secret passage? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, well, we set up what we wanted to do, we just blew it. All right, not the end of the world, but we got to get some chops or play a really good ball three to get to this. I'm trying to think here. Let's see if they'll tell us how many chops we got. Um, see where it says chops. It'll tell us right here if we plunge. Let the experiments begin. <clears throat> Seven chops. Not very easy. So we didn't travel a room there, it looks like. So yeah, that, that right orbit switch doesn't always play nice. Talk about your bloody Boo! Man. We got so far on ball one. You are not worthy. I do not need a positive mindset going into a zombie. I need a damn weapon and I had it. I played it good. I just couldn't hit one shot in the damn mood. You're dead. 